While most students are preparing for this summer, one student at the University of North Alabama is preparing to leave behind a large legacy. James Cochran, a senior majoring in communications, has taken running to a new level, covering 1,000 miles in seven months. Let's talk about 1,000 miles away. What is this project? Uh, the concept of 1,000 miles away kind of began about a year and a half ago. Uh, sitting on my bed reading a book. It was actually recommended to me by a friend uh, named Adam Goodman, who's kind of been my mentor for this project. The book is called Running on Faith, and it's by an endurance athlete named Jason Lester, this guy who doesn't have the use of his right arm. He's out there you know, swimming three miles and then following that up with a 50-mile you know, run, and uh, he's not bitter at God for having an imperfect body. Um, instead, you know, he's using all of this endurance sports to glorify God. I mean, it just really hit me that here's this guy who has every right to be mad at God. But he's out there, you know, serving the kingdom. And at the time, I was 20, and I realized I'd probably lived a, at least a fifth of my life. And uh, I just asked myself this question, you know, what have you done to give back to God and to serve his kingdom? And the answer was nothing. Um, and so it just hit me, you know, I just remember falling down on my bed and just crying out and saying, you know, God, please, you know, show me a way to serve and use my, my passion, which was running, uh, to give back. And about that time, my mom walked in and told her, I was just really feeling like I'm called to serve. And she said, you know, why don't you find a way to give back to the University of North Alabama. And so I kind of combined my love for UNA, my passion for running, and my desire to serve God. And uh, adding those three elements together kind of, you know, was, was the formula for a thousand miles away. How did your involvement on campus lead you to this project? Uh, the Honors Program has just been a great gateway for me into a lot of opportunities and networking uh, situations that I wouldn't have had. And it's really just shaped me as a person. So I just, I really want to give back to them. And uh, so I opened this scholarship foundation uh, where people could donate a monetary amount per mile. I actually have raised over $3,600 for the Honors Program. Adam Goodman first saw potential in James over three years ago and has stayed by his side throughout the months of running. The first time we met, I was just finishing up a cross-country bike tour that had used endurance sports um, to raise money for a good cause. And so I feel like we kind of got off on the right foot with, with some of this. Um, and James, um, has always impressed me with his um, just ambition and the way he's able to put it all together and, and make something big happen. When did this project actually begin? Uh, my first steps were on October 1st. Um, that's when I actually put on the shoes, laced up, you know, put on my short shorts um, and went and, you know, started sweating and grinding it out. Uh, and uh, marketing, campaigning, advertising and, you know, trying to fundraise starting about August 1st. Uh, and that's when, you know, a lot of the heavy lifting started. Have you hit your thousand miles? Yes, uh, I actually ran my final run on April 29th, uh, two days before it was supposed to finish, and I uh, ran my last miles with Adam Goodman, so it was a good way to go. Um, James really was just trying to find the best way to end it, from my understanding, and I think he thought about a lot of things. I, th I really think he thought about maybe doing some big, big mileage day, maybe running a marathon the last day. Um, but in the end, I think that he, he wanted it to, to be kind of classy and keep it about the cause and not about some big personal accomplishment. Um, and so with that in mind, whenever he asked me you know, if I'd be willing to run the last few miles, um, it really meant a lot to me. Because that was an important, huge milestone, and to get to be part of that was great. Um, so we just went and, and hit some of the familiar spots. We ran the four miles and ended here on campus where his family was waiting and, and my wife and son were waiting. And it was a really good moment. James raised over $3,000 for the UNA's honor program and completed his run on April 29th, two days ahead of his seven-month goal. Reporting in Florence, Alabama, Grace Oak.